Namaste. So you can begin by just closing your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and get comfortable wherever you're sitting. You might want to sit in a chair, sit cross-legged on the floor, or lie down on the floor if you know that you're able to do this without falling asleep. It's also a really lovely meditation that you can do as part of your Shavasana after a yoga class. So just get comfy and breathe deep. I invite you to breathe in and out through your nose throughout this practice. And you can begin just by following your breath as it begins outside your body. Travels up through your nostrils, down through the back of your throat, all the way to the base of your lungs. And then as you exhale, following the air as it leaves your lungs, travels through the back of your throat and exits at your nose. You can notice that the air is cool as it enters your nostrils and warm as it leaves your nostrils. So for this practice, we're going to be working with a few sentences. We begin by focusing these sentences upon ourselves. We then widen out this field of compassion to include somebody that we care about and then keep widening out this field of love and compassion until theoretically we can embrace all beings everywhere. It's a very relaxing practice and one that I love really can help to shift your perspective. Especially if you're facing any difficulties or challenges with people, this can also be a really good one to, to bring, to try. So what I invite you to try is, as you inhale for this first round, which will last around five minutes, as you inhale, say to yourself inside your mind, you don't have to say it out loud, May I be well. So as you breathe in, say to yourself, may I be well. And as you breathe out, just allow this intention to fill your body. And with your next in breath, you can say the sentence, may I be happy. And again, on the exhalation, just allowing this intention to fill your body, fill the space around you even. With your next inhalation, you can say to yourself, in your head, in your mind's ear, the sentence, may I be free from suffering. And with the fourth breath in, you can say to yourself, may I make progress. So you're breathing in each of these affirmations, each of these statements. As you breathe out, you're just allowing this, allowing yourself to feel this and really trying to send this intention to yourself and even into the world around you, the space around you. When you finish the fourth sentence, you just go back to the first. So the sentences are, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be free from suffering, may I make progress. When you finish the fourth one, go back to the first one, may I be well, may I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I make progress. 
So do this in your own speed, to the time of your own breath. And if your mind wanders at any point, just bring it back to the affirmations. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I make progress. Just taking another few rounds of this. Taking one more full round of these statements. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I make progress. And after your final round, you can just allow your breath to return to normal. Take a moment to just let your mind think of nothing in particular, letting go of these affirmations. You can keep your eyes closed if you're comfortable to, to just keep you in this space of meditation. So now that we've done this first round of the practice, we can expand our awareness a little bit further. This time I invite you to think about a person that you love a friend that you really care about or a family member that you really care about. It's advised that in this part of the practice that you don't pick somebody that you're romantically involved with or that you love romantically because this can tend to leave our, lead our mind on little distractions. So to help you stay focused, try and think about somebody who you love platonically or in a friendly way. Once you've got this person in mind, then you can repeat the statements. So with every inhalation, mentally saying to yourself the person's name, may this person be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress. With every exhalation, you can allow the statement to really reverberate within you, really sending out this sentiment of well-being to this other person. So taking around three minutes to just work with the affirmations again, but with this person's name. May this person be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress.
And if your mind is wandering, then you can bring it back to this practice. May this person be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress. Allowing yourself to do one more round of this in your own time, really sending out as much love and well-being to this person as you can. Once we've done this practice with somebody whom we love and whom we find it easy to bring well-being to, we again begin to expand our sense of awareness. So this time calling to mind somebody whom you feel neutral towards. Now this can be a bit of a strange concept, but basically somebody who you aren't passionate, passionately in love with, but nor is it somebody who you really despise just somebody whom you feel somewhere in the middle about, no dramatic emotion. It might be a, an acquaintance or a local shopkeeper or somebody whom you see but you don't have a deep connection with necessarily. It's a good neutral person to choose. So take a little moment, filter through your mind, see if you can identify somebody whom you can use for this part of the meditation. Of course, if you need to, you can pause it as well while you think of somebody. And when you're ready, again, bringing up the statements, but with this person in mind. So, may this person be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress. Again, on the inhalation, mentally saying the statement to yourself. And on the exhalation, sending the intent of each of these statements out to them as best you can. We're going to take about three minutes going round this cycle of affirmations. So take your time. Again, if your mind is wandering at all, you can bring it back to the exercise. May this person whom you feel neutral towards be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress. And taking this in your own time to go around one last time to complete this meditation. Once we've completed the exercise with somebody whom we feel relatively neutral towards, we can then expand our awareness even further. And this time choose somebody for whom you find the relationship challenging. Somebody who you have a sense of difficulty with or maybe you've had a minor conflict with. If you're well versed in this meditation, you can even pick somebody who you've had a lot of challenges with or a big pain with. But sometimes this can be too much for the first time. So maybe just somebody whom you've had some minor irritation with or minor problem with. 
And now our aim is to repeat the affirmations, but with this person in mind, this more challenging person. So may this person be well. May this person be happy. May this person be free from suffering. May this person make progress. This one can be harder. It's much easier to send goodwill and good intent out to those whom we find it easy to be around. But remembering that the aim of this meditation is to cultivate loving compassion. So repeat the sentences with as much authenticity as you can, understanding that even people who have irritated you or caused you harm, on some level, they were just trying to look after themselves. It's never really about you. All of our actions are always much more about ourselves and our own patterns and our own pain and our own stories. So underlying everything else, we're all just trying to be well, be happy, make progress and become free from suffering. And that doesn't justify anybody's actions. But it can make it easier for you to let go of anger and emotions that don't serve you so well. So as well as you can, just working with your breath, inhaling in the statements and as you exhale really trying to send out this positive intent even to this person whom you might find difficult again we're going to stay here for around three minutes so take your time So again, if your mind is beginning to wonder at this point, just bring it back to those affirmations, those statements, I think you know them by now. Saying the person's name of the person who you find sometimes a little bit challenging. Giving yourself one more round of focusing your intent to generate loving compassion for this person. And perhaps you're able to notice that the longer you stay with the affirmations, the more genuine they feel, perhaps. It's also fine if you're starting to feel irritated. Any response that you have to it is completely normal. But over time, really, it's it's an amazing tool to help to let go of unwanted um, irritation and anger at others and to generate loving compassion. So once you've finished your last round with the person you find challenging, we're finally able to expand our awareness even more. So in this round, we're going to bring to mind all of the people that you've meditated upon so far. Yourself, the person you love, the person you feel neutral towards, and the person who's brought you challenges. Visualize all four of you and say the statements, may we be well, may we be happy. May we be free from suffering. May we make progress. So visualizing all of you as you say this statement and sending this loving compassion, this well-being out to all of you as you say this statement. Once you've gone through this round, then see if you can expand your awareness a little bit further. Maybe bringing into your awareness any other people that are in 
the house that you're in right now or the space that you're in right now, expanding it to any people that you work with. You can expand it then to people who are in the same area that you live in, the same town or city. And then you can even expand it outwards until it covers the whole world, literally adding in continent by continent until all sentient beings in the world are covered by these statements. May we be well. May we be happy. <laughs> may we be free from suffering. And may we make progress. So I'm going to allow you as much time as you need to complete this final process. So you're starting off with the four people that you've meditated on so far and then keep expanding, bringing in more and more people that you know and more and more people that you don't know until ideally you can be covering the whole globe or even the whole universe of sentient beings with these in positive intentions. So I usually allow about three minutes to five minutes to complete this practice, but take as long as you need. The music will stay running for a little bit longer, but I'm going to leave you to it. So I thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this meditation and you can find more at yogawithsasha.com. Namaste.